Happy Halloween, witches! We got a spooky good quitna for you today, Halloween special. And you know what? We're in cybersecurity, it's Halloween. We're not not going to talk about zombies. Let's do it. Now that I have my Halloween costume, we're ready to dive into the content of the Quitna. So what we're talking about today is scanning, scanning using a zombie. And when we're talking about scanning, one of the major goals of scanning is to figure out if a port is open or closed. And we care about that because an open port shows a potential vulnerability, right? Or a way in. And we're gonna use a zombie because in scanning, we wanna be stealthy. We wanna be as discreet and stealthy as possible. So we're using basically a machine on our behalf, known as a zombie, to actually make that happen so we don't get caught and somebody else does, okay? So what we're gonna talk about today is something called an idle scan. It's called an idle scan because we are using, again, a zombie or a idle computer. And that, the fact that the computer is idle will uh, be very important a little bit later. So let's talk about first our malicious attacker or our user. And the first step is to identify a zombie or an idle computer that doesn't communicate uh, unless, we can, unless we tell it to, so under our control. And what we're gonna do is try to get something called an IP ID number from the computer. So we're gonna send some sort of message to the zombie and we're gonna solicit a response. We're looking for an, their IP address and also, again, the IP ID. So, with that information, we are then going to choose our target, and we are going to send a SYN packet to the target, okay? Now, when we send the SYN packet, we spoof the source IP address. So when the target responds, it's of course not responding to us, it's responding to the zombie, okay? So, say we send a SYN packet to the target. This is where kind of the magic happens. This is where we find out if the port is open or closed. And again, the whole ghoul of idle scanning is to look to see if the port is open or closed. So if the target receives a SYN packet and then the port is open, it's gonna respond with what? Well, what's the next step in a three-way handshake? SYN ACK, right? So it's gonna respond with a SYN ACK in response to the SYN to the zombie. Now the zombie just gets this random synax, so it's gonna to have to respond with its own reset back. Now here's where the key happens. The zombie, when it responds, that IP ID, that same one up here, is gonna increase by one, okay? Now, we, as the attacker, wanna find out what the IP ID is, so we are going to, again, solicit a response from the zombie. They respond with the IP ID again, that's gonna be increased by one. So really, that's the magic right there. If you think about it, the IP ID increased by one here, the IP ID increased by one there. Therefore, if your IP ID is increased by two, what does that mean? Open port. By contrast, if the IP ID only increased by one, what does that mean? That means this is the only spot where the IP ID increased because this step never happened. It never sent the reset back. Why? Because the target never sent the SYN ACK back. Therefore, the port is closed. So again, this is something called an idle scan or IP ID scan. And the whole idea is looking for open or closed ports. And that about just wraps it up. Honestly, I just hope this couldn't go swell.